today's video is going to be about the volume and surface area of a triangular prism. All right, this is a little, uh, a lot of numbers and a lot of things to figure out. But if you stay with it, I think it'll be, um, it'll be, it'll be fun and it will be uh, challenging. But you'll feel good about yourself when you're done. Okay, let's remember a few things. Remember that the volume of a rectangular prism was really just the area of the base times the height. Remember we talked about whatever the, whatever the number of cubes you needed for the base and you just multiplied by how many layers you had to do. It might not be a good drawing. But anyway, if you had five layers and the area of the base was two by three, there were six, it would be six times five. Okay, um, we can use that idea to help us figure out the volume of a triangular prism. The volume of any prism is really the area of the base, we call it big B, capital B, times the height of that base. Okay, so the volume of any, of any prism, remember the prism goes up and down straight, and the base, the two bases are parallel and congruent. So if you think about that, all you have to do is fill it up, just layer by layer by layer by layer. Okay, so what, one way to think about that is the area of whatever that base was times how many, how high you have to go. Okay. So, what is the base of a triangular prism? It's a triangle. What's the area of a triangle? One half the base of the triangle times the height. The trick is you've got base and height, which is also what you use for a prism. So, a little note to yourself, the B, the little B here, is the base of the triangle. That little line, remember the base that where that dotted line in the box go? That line where that goes to, that's the base. That's the base of the triangle. That little H is the height of the triangle. That dotted line and the little box, okay? That's the height of the, little, of the triangle. Not the, at, at the base, uh, see, it's the height of the triangle at the base, not the height of the whole prism, okay? So the formula for the volume of a triangular prism is the area of the base, but the area of the base is one half base times height times the height of the whole prism. If you want to use this capital H, you can. Uh, you don't see that very often in the books, but you could use that for yourself to help you. Okay? So now let's get some examples, and let's see if we can work it through in some examples. Okay. So you have example one. And if you can't draw the triangular prism, don't worry. Um, uh, we'll talk about how to do it in class, and then we'll always supply the pictures for you for your, for your examples that you have. Okay, so you write down your formula first. Volume equals big B times H. Be careful that the height connects. One way to figure out to find the height of the prism might be kind of tricky because you've got two H's really in there, is the height of the prism connects the two triangles. So whatever is connecting the two triangles, like here we got a lot of numbers. We got seven, eight, six, nine, ten, we got them all. So you gotta think which ones do I really need? Let's follow it through. If you talk about the area of the base, the big B is one half the base times the height. I probably should have put that in there. Is one half the base times the height of the triangle. Well, the base of the triangle, the base of the base, of the base of the triangle is nine. And the height, that's not a seven, that's a box, okay? It's going to be six. It's that dotted line, okay? So that's six. So it's one half nine times six. And the height of the whole prism is the, the number that connects this triangle to this triangle. And that number is ten. You can kind of see that. you got to try to have your eye looking for that, okay, each time. Then when you do the math, it's 270. I'm not worried about units right now. I'm just trying to help you focus on the numbers and which numbers to use. Okay, number two. You have a lay, laid out uh, triangular prism. Always write down the formula first. And then really, I should have written down the very next one, which should have been, I should have also said, well, that's one half the base times the height of the triangle times the height of the whole prism. So the height is one half the base, which is, this time, be careful, the base is not five. Because remember, the base of a triangle is going to be wherever you have that, that square, that angle, that means a right, a right angle. So it's going to be the 4 and the 3. And it doesn't matter which one you think of as the base, which one you think of as the height. It's just 4 times 3 or 3 times 4. Times the height. Of, the, the height of the whole prism is the guy, the number that connects the two triangles together. Which number is that? Oh, that's the 9. Okay, so it's 1 half the 3 times the 4 times the 9, which equals 54. We didn't even use the 5 in that one. But you'll have numbers in there that you won't use. And you have to get used to which ones you need to and which ones you don't. Okay, so we'll do lots of practice with these. We're going to take two days to work through all these volume and surface area of triangular prisms. Okay, so now we're going to hit surface area. So the surface area of a triangular prism, you have to think about these things. Well, think about there are five faces... Okay, for the net of a triangular prism, here's your net, there's five faces. Two of the bases, the two bases are congruent, okay, and they're the two triangles, okay. Then the three sides are all rectangles, and here's the net, you can see the two triangles and three rectangles, okay. 
If you made the three sides one long rectangle, like you'll see in some of the nets, it would be the perimeter of the triangle times the height, which is what I mean. You take this side, it's really going to match up to this side of the triangle. This side here matches up to that side of the triangle, and this side already is that side of the triangle. So this long rectangle that is all the sides, the lateral sides of that triangular prism, is really, this right here is really the perimeter of the triangle, and then this is the height of it. This is the, the number that, the side that connects the two triangles together. So that'll help us as we figure out the formula for surface area of a, of a triangular prism. Okay. So the surface area of a triangular prism is going to be two, two bases, two areas, remember big B is area of the base, so it's two of those because they're two triangles, plus the perimeter of that triangle times the height of the whole prism. So it's two times one half the base times the height, plus the perimeter times the height. So to get it all down to as little as you have to memorize, it's the B times the H plus the P times the H. BH plus PH for the volume for the surface area of a triangular prism. Now it is good, I think, to kind of remember the first thing, how you get there. Because if you forget and get that, maybe say PB times HH or something, you might get that mixed up. You can always go back to this. So let's do some examples. Example one, you have surface area is 2B plus PH. So 2, put down the 2. The B is the area of the base. The area of the base is 1 half the base times the height of the triangle plus the P and the H. Okay, so here's my triangle. There's my little box. You always want to be looking for that box. You want to look for the box. You want to look for the number, that, the side that connects the two triangles because you need them later. Okay, so it's 1 half 5 is my base and times 12. Or you could have said 12 times 5. It doesn't matter. Plus the perimeter. Well, the perimeter is that triangle. Here's the triangle, and they're, they're going to give you all the numbers. They're going to give you too many numbers sometimes. So don't, you don't have to worry about, I can't find that number. They're going to be giving you the numbers. So that triangle you see is right, 